Hey, this is Dan from MSS Enduralis. Welcome to the channel. You don't know anything about what's coming. Movement refers to shifting of forces on the battlefield. The key to moving successfully involves selecting the best combination of movement formations and movement techniques for each situation. You must consider factors of MET TC in selecting the best route and the appropriate formation and movement technique. There are three squad movement formations, squad column, squad line, and squad file. Squad column is normally used as the primary formation. Squad line is used when maximum firepower is required to the front. Squad file is used within close terrain, vegetation, or limited visibility conditions. The squad file has the same characteristics of the fire team file. The position of the squad leader and team leaders can be adjusted depending on the situation. It may not always be best to have the team leader as the point man. The squad file provides the easiest method of control but is the most difficult formation from which to maneuver. This formation provides maximum immediate fire to the flanks but masks most fire to the front and rear. Moving in the squad file provides the least amount of security to the unit. The squad line provides limited maneuver capability due to both fire teams being committed. This formation concentrates the maximum amount of the unit's firepower to the front end and is typically used during the establishment of a support by fire position. The squad line provides very little security to the flank and rear. The squad column is the most common movement formation and provides the best compromise between the squad line and squad file. It allows the most flexibility for the majority of situations. This formation facilitates maneuver and provides good dispersion laterally and in depth. The squad leader has the best control in the squad column. When the squad moves independently or as the rear element of the platoon, the rifleman in the rear fire team provides rear security, rendering all around security. Leaders must know how to select a formation based on which one best allows control, flexibility, firepower, and security. Movement techniques are the position of your squads and fire teams in relation to each other while moving. There are three movement techniques. Traveling, traveling overwatch, and bounding overwatch. Like formations, movement techniques provide your unit with varying degrees of control, security, and flexibility. The squad traveling formation is used when enemy contact is not likely. The travel technique offers the best speed and control during maneuver, but offers the least dispersion and security because the trail team follows closely behind the lead fire team. Because teams are closer during movement, the travel technique is easier for the squad leader to control. It is not normally used in enemy territory. Traveling overwatch is used when enemy contact is possible, but the squad must move quickly to accomplish the mission. The lead fire team is pushed out further, approximately 50 meters, so that if contact is made with the enemy, the squad leader can limit that contact to the lead fire team. This allows the squad leader to maneuver the trail fire team around the lead team without the maneuver team being engaged by the enemy. Bounding overwatch is used when contact with an enemy force is expected or when crossing a large open danger area. One fire team is always in an overwatch position, prepared to lay down a base of fire while the other fire team maneuvers. This is the slowest movement technique and the most difficult to control. 
but it provides the best dispersion and fire control. When contact is made, the fire team in contact becomes the base of fire team to destroy or suppress the enemy. The fire team not in contact maneuvers to destroy the enemy. If the squad leader decides to break contact, the fire team not in contact occupies a support by fire position where it can direct fire on the enemy force. This allows the fire team in contact to disengage and fall back to a covered and concealed position. They provide covering fire while the other fire team disengages. This process continues until the squad successfully breaks contact with the enemy. There are two types of bounding overwatch, successive bound and alternate bound. In the successive bound, the teams bound forward to a covered and concealed position, generally parallel with the other teams. In the alternate bound, the bounding fire team does not stop parallel with the overwatch fire team, but moves beyond the overwatch fire team. Bounding overwatch provides the most control, the most dispersion, and the most security, but at the cost of speed. The squad leader must consider MET-TC and the advantages and disadvantages to the three squad movement techniques to move the unit and accomplish the assigned mission. Of the three squad movement formations and three squad movement techniques, the squad leader must choose from a variety of factors which is the one best suited for his mission and his environment.